Welcome to the Cody Catch Up Podcast. My name is Jamie Jones, and in this episode, I'm going to be talking about some changes that are coming into upcoming versions of Mac OS that's going to affect the way that you develop and work uh, on your machine. Okay, so what am I talking about? So Apple have made an announcement that in macOS Catalina, uh, at least from the beta onwards, it's going to be changing the shell from Bash to ZSH. Uh, so Catalina is the next major version. At the moment, the, the current major version is Mojave. Uh, and basically anything older than Mojave or Mojave and early is going to run Bash. But starting with the beta, it's going to switch to ZSH or Z shell. So what's so bad about this? Well, or at least what's the reasoning behind all this first. Uh, so basically, I haven't got the full story of this, uh, but basically Bash 3.2, which is running on OS uh, Mac OS, uh, it's using the GPL version 2 license, which is fine. So everything from Mojave all the way back is using uh, Bash in the GPL version 2 license. But going forward for the newer versions of Bash, it's licensed under the GPL version 3, and Apple has some kind of concerns with that license enough that they are actually going to switch to using a different shell and they've selected ZSH or Z shell. Now, I don't really know the, the full underlying things about this. I haven't really looked into that part. Uh, licensing is just it's a whole rabbit hole. So if you want to go check that out, check it out. Uh, but the, the, I think I'm on the fence about this, whether it's good or bad. So I, I'm a, a ZSH user myself, so I've, I'm a little bit biased. So take out what I've got to say here with a grain of salt because I am going to come from the side where I like ZSH. Uh, but at the same time, like I've been using Bash for, uh, I don't know, a long time before I started using ZSH a number of years ago. I don't know how long ago that was, five years ago, or something like that, more, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> it's been quite a while, I lost track of time, but I think the enhancements in ZSH are worth it alone, which is great. Uh, maybe newer versions of Bash do have some of this functionality. I don't know. I haven't been using newer vers versions of Bash to kind of uh, get the idea of that. Now, where the problem is that, or at least where I can see problems being, is scripts that are written with Bash-specific kind of, or what, what Apple's touted as Bashisms. Um, uh, uh, there's differences between running commands in Bash versus, versus ZSH, uh, and they're like arguments, how arguments are, are provided, and I've run into this issue when running uh, certain rate commands in uh, in Ruby, whereas on the server I have to write it slightly differently how I'd write it uh, locally. Uh, things like that, how, how those arguments are interpreted in the actual shell is where you're going to trip up. Now, how this is going to affect you is that certain repos that you might download and have like setup scripts or some other kind of scripts, they might not be written in a way to run uh, basically in like a compatibility mode or a way that it's going to be universal. Uh, the same with any kind of third-party scripts that you might get from, say, Homebrew or something like that or somewhere that you've pulled off GitHub. I think those issues are going to uh, come up and, and raise some... Uh, <laughs> I don't want to say really issues, but more teething issues uh, where things might have to be adapted or, or modified to to kind of sort that out. And now, hopefully, now it's been announced that any kind of authors are going to pick these things up, but I still don't think it's going to be picked up by the number of people that it requires. So there's going to be a lot of uh, stubbing your toes and, and working those kind of things out. Now, they're saying it is by default on. Now, it means you can switch back to Bash and whether you have to install Bash at some point if they completely remove it, uh, or, you know, you can just simply switch. Now, they've created an article that shows or shows you how to switch your shell from ZSH to Bash, and you could easily just reverse engineer this and change it from ZSH to Bash. Uh, so it's not the end of the world there. I think that's kind of fine. At least they've given some docs there and also shows some migration paths. So if you want to try this earlier and get into it, uh, I'd highly recommend doing that. If you haven't checked out uh, Z Shell or ZSH before, check it out. There's some great features and, and stuff in there. I highly recommend uh, installing Oh My ZSH. Uh, that's what I've been using. I haven't gone like with a stock standard install. Use Oh My ZSH. It's been brilliant. I love it. Um, but yeah, so they show some migration paths like how to use Z Profile instead of Bash for Profile, or ZSH RC instead of Bash RC, uh, and like if you're using kind of the, the dot profiles that the older 
I probably wouldn't say old, but the POSIX uh, compliant profile uh, dot file, they show you how to, to work that and emulate it and make sure it all kind of works together and, and migrate things. That's great. And also how to actually test those scripts as well. So they've got a, uh, a command that you can run from uh, to, from ZSH to run it as um, as, as a shell, as a, just an SH uh, kind of script, which is really nice to see there. But that's all I really got for this one. I just wanted to kind of talk about it because I think it's been a little bit more under the radar than what it should be. Uh, but I'd love to know your thoughts on this, you know, how are you going to go about it? Uh, what are your thoughts on it? I'd love to know. Send through a tweet at Coda Catch Up on Twitter. Send through an email to CodaCatchUp at gmail.com or leave a comment on CodaCatchUp.com for, the, for this episode. Uh, also, if you are watching this or listening to this on YouTube, please leave a comment in the comment section below and leave a like and a subscribe. That would be fantastic. But other than that, we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye.